some idiot decided to break the windows of my car last night and steal my camera. Welcome back you guys. Today we're starting a new vlog at 1.19 a.m. at PSM Dynamic where as you guys all know, my M2 is being built. Today I'm going to be picking this up and the reason why you guys haven't seen a single vlog footage of this car being built here is because some idiot decided to break the windows of my car last night night and steal my camera which had all the footage of me racing my car at omega motorsports this car being built we were here until like three in the morning a couple nights ago literally sawing the car and um to fit these wide body fenders it was such a great vlog and a lot of blood sweat and tears went into making that vlog and that footage but some people just have a really evil mind and decided to steal my camera which really sucks but um you know, there might be these setbacks in life, but we're going to move on. I bought a new camera, as you guys can tell, um, and we are starting this vlog. Literally, I bought this camera like four hours ago, which feels great, because I actually got a better camera, and uh, we're going to move on from here. I'm at PSM Dynamic. The reason why I'm here at one in the morning is because this wide, these wide body fenders are done. The reason why this car looks like it has been torn apart is because the front bumper is at Sticker City, getting wrapped, because I just, <sighs> had no idea how to wrap a front bumper. Oh, by the way, all of this footage was lost when the camera was stolen, but this hood, these fenders, I actually wrapped it myself with the help of Alex Perez. And uh, I was, we were gonna wrap the front bumper, but the front bumper of a BMW is just horribly, hor it's just like one of the worst front bumpers to wrap. It is so complicated, so we just gave up. Uh, and I sent the front bumper over to Sticker City where they actually are going to finish up wrapping the car. So this car needs to go over to MFR Engineering tomorrow, actually technically today, because it is already one in the morning, which means I have to drive this car in this condition. It's missing a gear shifter. The e-brake is gone. The door panels are gone. I can't even open the doors. I can't, there's no way I can control the windows because the window buttons are on the door and the door is being reupholstered in a brand new color. Um, and most of all, I am missing a trunk, which means I don't have license plates or a license plate light. I mean, this car has literally 10 mechanical violations. I would not be surprised if I get pulled over. The police are probably gonna think it's stolen. So hopefully I don't get arrested on my way back to the house. Oh, the funny thing is the plates that were on this car were actually reported stolen by me because actually someone stole my plates off of this car a while ago. I don't know who in the right mind would ever do that. Um, so I actually had to get new plates so I wouldn't be surprised if I get arrested. So wish me luck. You're asking me like I have a choice. Why? Why not? What's wrong with it? I don't know. It's probably it's, it's the Lego M2 right now. <laughs> it's not a big deal. It's just missing every single body panel. Fenders, correct me if I'm wrong, um, come out when they're like 
done when they dry up they, they're slight ever so slightly bumpy on the top so he's just polishing them so they're really like this one this one got polished right no i'm just sanding down oh this one's just sanding down i mean even this like feels really smooth listen to that <laughs> anyways um so that if you once you wrap it it feels really smooth and there are no you can't see the pattern of the fiberglass if you know what i mean underneath the wrap so he's gonna do those real quick and then once they're done, we're gonna swap out the wheels on that car because those wheels don't belong on my car um, to my old wheels, which are super skinny, which are the stock M2 wheels. Um, so I'm gonna look like I kind of skipped leg day with my car. Oh boy, we just hope we don't get arrested. Did you really need to put it that high? I should get the front up too, it's fine. Oh, <laughs> smart. These are the wide body wheels for the M3. Um, those are my wheels over there, super skinny. So my car is gonna look really dumb, but thank God it's two in the morning right now and it's dark outside and nobody can see the car. Fat wheel. What size is that? The tire? Yeah. 325. That's a 325? Yep. Yeah, that's huge. That's like... <laughs> my Huracan runs a 305. That, that rear tire is fatter than my Huracan tires. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the difference between a 325, I mean, not a 325, 265 and then 325. 265, 325. I will be getting tires that big that big soon. Um from Brixton Forged. However, those are not going to come in for the next two weeks. <laughs> it's gonna look so stupid. Alright, both front and rear fenders are off the car. And these are going to be sent over to be wrapped. Deciding whether or not I should do black or Nardo gray on these things. BC Racing coilovers. Oh. Look how disgusting it is back there. And here come my super skinny tires. Torquing the wheels up. All right, we are loading up the trunkless M2. Those nicely polished quarter panel fenders. We're gonna have to do something so that these fenders don't fly out of the car on the freeway. Maybe put some duct tape alongside the trunk or make our own makeshift trunk. Oh boy. <laughs> This is so sketchy. What if it just fall? Everything just falls out. Is that the last one? Yep. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about that trunk because if those fall out on the freeway, then that's just disastrous and we're never gonna be able to finish this in time for the LA Auto Show. <laughs> All right, whatever this is, that's trash. Is this supposed to wobble like this? Yeah, your bumper holds it. Just, no. Oh. You just take it off and put it in the car. This thing oh, you broke off a foam piece. Hmm. <laughs> you still come around driving the car? I mean, is it gonna fall off? Maybe. This is literally like an like a drift missile right now. Guys, I literally don't have a gear shifter. This is my gear shifter. I guess that's what I have to deal with right now. 
the gear shifter boot is actually being um, reupholstered to another color. This interior is gonna look awesome. This is like the best BMW interior that I think I could have designed. There are a couple little few surprises that are coming. I'm just so excited to reveal this car to you guys. That's the best you got right now? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Are you kidding me? Better than nothing, man. You don't have duct tape or anything? No. Oh, my God. This thing is not going to hold on. <laughs> this thing is not. It's so flimsy. It's like aluminum. Well, I know, I know it's not going to fly out because of the wind. It's, the wind's not going to do anything to it. My only concern is um, if I like accelerate too hard or if I hit a bump, then everything's just going to float and fly out. What are we doing now? You think that's gonna stay? Yeah. All right, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is so bad. Sick. <laughs> I only see a bad way, a bad ending to this. So we are going to drive this car without the wide body fenders on it. We got this whole gap here. Look at that wheel gap. That's like a little four by four. I can almost jump this car. Huh, that looks so stupid. I'm in Long Beach. My house is near Beverly Hills, so I have like a good 45 minute drive of no windows and no trunk. Wish me luck, you guys. Oh, I have nothing to close the door with. Uh-oh. Alrighty. Make sure that <laughs> make sure that's in neutral. I hit the start button. chirp at me all day that's gonna be annoying all right because that gear shifter hurts I'm gonna wrap a towel over it there we go that feels a little bit better ouch that's my e-brake oh, that feels weird <laughs> all right here we go actually that kind of feels nice because there's like this much of the gear shifter missing so now essentially by ripping off half of the gear shifter I have a short shifter feels really nice that's so funny, it says rear view camera malfunction. Huh, I wonder why. Alright, I actually made it into my garage without getting arrested. There's my car, there's Dave's car, and here goes my car. Yep, so here is my car. I have not been having good luck with windows lately. Um, as you guys know, this I broke when I was trying to break into my car because I locked myself out of the car with the keys in it. And then the other side um, is a side that got smashed. You can see all the broken glass here. There's kind of broken glass all over the floor and then there's this terrible noise when you open the door. of just glass, just glass like floating around in here. You guys can hear that. Then I have all my stuff here that I didn't really want to touch because, you know, broken glass can hurt. There's also broken glass all over the front dash. 
all over the center console. It, it, it made it all the way over to the seat, so I was actually <laughs> sitting on that little towel. Um, ugh, that's a horrible noise. I was sitting on that little towel when I was driving this car home. So this happened at Saddle Ranch, which is like a restaurant on Sunset Boulevard. I had it parked at the valet lot. I was eating at my table 20 feet away from my car and the music was just super loud. There was a lot of um, people running around and I just couldn't see and it never noticed when my car got broken into until I walked out. My car alarm was going off and then I saw the broken glass and my camera and some other of my belongings gone. So I did file a police report um, with the West Hollywood Sheriff's Department, but like honestly, I doubt that I'll ever get this camera back because these robberies are called smash and grabs and people literally go around smashing door windows, car windows and taking whatever is in there and they 99% of the time never end up being caught and none of the victim's belongings ever um, come back to the victim. So I honestly have no hopes for getting the camera back and it's not really about the camera. The camera is always replaceable. The car, the window, that's all replaceable. Guys, I have insurance and I have the money to buy another camera. What I re what's really priceless and what really like drags my heart um, that my camera got stolen is all the footage that I had on the camera. It, I have worked so hard the past four days to create, there are three vlogs in there and one of them was just crazy. It was me covering the fires at, the, at Malibu that's going on right now. Um, I actually went into that area and I was actually assisting some of the first responders that were there who couldn't leave their post and I brought them food and drinks and water and stuff like that and they actually really appreciated it. I was also at Omega Motorsports, like I said, doing the half mile race event um, that I went up there to take this car and I raced it against a bunch of other supercars and um, I lost to like a McLaren, I lost to a, a, literally a sleeper RS3, there was a Grace RS3 that had like a bajillion horsepower that wants race. At first sight, it looks like a normal old RS3 that only makes like just over 400 horsepower, but that thing ended up smoking me. And I had all that footage in my camera and it all got lost. So to whoever stole my camera, if you guys, I don't know why I'm walking, I just realized I'm walking around in circles around my camera. Whoever stole my camera, if you guys are watching this, or if you are watching this, then please, that SD card is only worth like $30. I'm willing to give you like $100. At least please return the SD card to, um, or at least mail it to me. I don't really care about the camera, you can keep it. Um, but I just want the SD card. Um, so I can get the footage back. You can mail it to Avant Garde Exotics, uh, which is 7122 Gerald Avenue in Van Nuys, California. You have to steal things, I get it. Like, it's not the right way of doing stuff, but keep the camera, I don't really care. I just want the footage. So please, if if you have the SD card, then, um, or if you're the robber, then and if you're watching this, then please at least give the SD card back. I'd really, really appreciate that. <laughs>